Well, it would seem that Disney's failed so-called Star Wars hotel is having to now cut the number of voyages. You know, because they build a Star Wars hotel, but just forget to add Star Wars to it. And this is the result of when you are trying to build a Star Wars hotel, but clearly forget to add anything that actual fans would like. You know, essentially what it's made is that, it, aside from the 6K, you know, for two night, you know, price tag, you know, it's just made essentially for rich people who think that Star Wars is cool. But really anybody who's, you know, I'm not even, I wouldn't even call myself a fan. I, I, you know, it was a part of my childhood. Yeah, absolutely. And even I can see that this thing is totally absent of actual Star Wars. They built a Star Wars hotel, but forgot to add Star Wars to it. And this is the result of that. So essentially, it says here on uh, WaltDisneyWorldInfo.com, number of voyages reduced for Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser beginning in October of 2023. Yeah, again, the results of what happens when you forget to add Star Wars to your so-called Star Wars hotel. It says your fans of Walt Disney World's Galactic Star Cruiser should know that voyages will no longer occur back to back beginning in October of 2023, according to the availability calendar that was released for the remainder of the year. Right, continuing on in the article, it says, let me just, one sec, there we go. It says, the decision was made this week to reduce the number of voyages down to two per week, as you can see in the image above. Uh, additionally, beginning today on March 7th, that's when the article was written, the cancellation policy has gone from 90 days to 30 days, fully refundable. This policy is in effect for all bookings, existing ones, new bookings traveling through September, and new ones uh, from October to December of 2023. Yeah, this is embarrassing, but hey, you know, this is what happens when you forget to add Star Wars to your allegedly Star Wars attraction. I said it before, just obviously repeating myself. Continuing on, Disney has issued an official statement on the matter below. The schedule has been modified to provide two voyages per week, except for holiday weeks where we may have three voyages. We've been learning a lot uh, during our first year of operation and adjusted voyage dates to meet the needs of our guests. Here's the, suge here's the suggestion how you can meet the needs of your guests. First of all, cut back on the six thousand dollar you know price tag. Maybe make it like maybe I don't know a couple hundred dollars at most, and also add actual Star Wars to it. See, nobody, you know, very few people actually like the sequel trilogy, which is essentially what this thing is. It's based, you're basically set between episodes, uh, I think it's eight and nine is what you're set. It's basically the events that would occur between those two episodes. And essentially, uh, it's a time period that nobody likes. Well, very few people actually do like, you know. And, and not only do very few people like it, even fewer actually have the money to just actually have the kind of income to just spend $6,000 on a whim like that. You know, but if you want to actually meet the needs of your guests, add actual Star Wars. You know, add the characters everybody loves, and also, you know, don't have it set in, a, in an era that nobody really, really wants to to consider canon. Anyway, it's just what happens when woke liberal SJW Disney, uh, essentially, not only fails to add Star Wars, but essentially bases their whole thing off their feminist propaganda that is basically stole the IP. I'll put it that way. You know, when you make a Star Wars attraction, you ought to actually add Star Wars to it. But it seems that woke liberal feminist SJW Disney won't get that and will keep losing money until they do. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.